hello guys and welcome back to the channel now guys things have gotten so bad for the hapless vice president of nigeria that even elements within the demography of his tormentors are feeling the need to ride to his rescue so with that guys i bring you this why oshibanjo should fight back or resign and this is the arewa youths saying this so that's the headline why oshibanjo should fight back or resign and this statement is attributed to the Arewa youth so now let's see what the young Malamis have to say for themselves the Arewa Youth Consultative Forum AYCF has charged Vice President Yemi Oshibanjo to fight back because he has been ridiculed in the presidency Speaking recently, AYCF President General Yerima Shetima warned that Oshibanjo risked being removed if he failed to fight back or resign as Vice President. Shetima stated this in reaction to the sack of some aides attached to the Vice President. Insisting that the current government has undermined Oshibanjo, Shetima wondered why the vice president has remained silent in the face of his travails in the presidency. According to Shetima, we have discovered that certain persons at the corridors of power are manipulating the system for their selfish interest. Like it or not, somebody somewhere wants to ensure that the vice president was put off the system so that he can't find his way to the presidency in 2023. One thing about this government, no matter how they pretend, something is wrong. The moment they said the president and his vice are in good terms, I knew something was wrong because there can't be smoke without fire. Instead of sacking aides of the vice president, why not look at the National Assembly? If really they want to reduce the cost of governance in Nigeria, why not look for a way of placing so many aides there, doing nothing on allowance and reduce the number rather than look at the office of the vice president? Some of us know that the battle line has been drawn. Oshibanjo is seriously being undermined. This is a clear indication that he is a target and they would pull him down. I'm surprised that he has not come out boldly to seek the sympathy of Nigerians and speak his mind. He is sitting there quietly because he wants to prove to Nigerians that he is a man of God. The issue of politics is not a matter of God, it is about issues. Professionalism must have to come to play. I know he is a professor of law, but he needs to come out and tell Nigerians what is going on. If he continues to stay quiet, he will just wake up one morning and discover that he has been replaced. The office of the vice president has been ridiculed. So for me, it's either he's out to fight or he resigns because if he doesn't and can't fight back, then certainly they will remove him through any means. Nobody thought it possible to remove Chief Justice of the Federation, but they did it easily. So, how more the Vice President that is a spare tire to the President? The head of the judiciary was removed and they frustrated him and nothing happened. So now this is now elements within the Malamis now coming out to the rescue of Yemi Oshibanjo. So the beast is this man now so ridiculed easy that people that you would traditionally think would be loyal to his tormentors have just looked to the humanity of what is going on and are saying ah, leave this guy alone now this is too much now. So now the vice president president of Nigeria is now effectively an object of pity. The second most powerful person, at least in theory, within the biggest economy and democracy in Africa, at least in theory, is now the object of pity and ridicule. And thus is the life of Yemi Oshibanjo now, so debased is this guy now by the Malamis. Conversations in the uh, comment sections, the Malami youths are now begging the Malami seniors to go easy on this man because the situation has now gotten that pitiable. Come tell me what you think. But before you come share thoughts, click on the red subscribe button so it turns gray. The bell button notifies you every time I drop a new video. Then come tell me what you are making of what is happening to this Yemi Oshibanjo fella in the comment section. So I'll leave you here. Join you in the comment section. But here I say peace.